Greetings and salutations, my excellent friends. I hope you're doing great. Well, Joe and I are back in Dongtan, and I actually wanted to show you something really interesting. It's something that a friend of ours showed me, and I thought it was fairly interesting. So I wanted to share it with you, and that is this little emblem right here behind me. Now, most people in Korea typically drive a Kia or a Hyundai, but a lot of people also drive this particular make of car, and that is a Samsung car. That's right, Samsung makes cars. Well, not, well, yes, they do, but they're also in partnership with somebody, and that somebody is Renault. And I think that the two logos work so well together. So if you take a look at this logo, you'll see that it has the oval. And at night, it's illuminated blue, just like the blue Samsung logo. But if you actually look at the actual sides of the oval and you look at Renault, you see that it's the Renault logo ovalized. And I think that is absolutely brilliant. It's a way to show that when two companies come together, they can actually blend their logos and have a great synergy. So, I just wanted to share that with you since a lot of people do ask me what kind of cars do a lot of people in Korea drive and I would say those are the top three brands. Number one and two, Kia, Hyundai and number three, Samsung. So uh, let's, let's give this with a question, shall we, before I close out this little vlog. Looking back over the years, looking back at all the products and companies that you use, what company do you think has the best logo? Leave a comment down below and share with me your thoughts. I think one of the most, I guess, interesting, and this goes back to my days in distance education, is the Amazon logo with the arrow going from A to Z, symbolizing that they have everything from A to Z. Anyway, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. I love this fall weather. All right, see you soon.